So she's been moved. That was amazing. Today we're doing a product <laughs> review. <laughs> um, a great story. Um, so we're trying. Okay. So would you like to explain how you found this? Because I actually wasn't there when you did this. So I like to shop for groceries. I don't. I actually don't. Really? I had no idea. <laughs> I do that regularly, so we have food to eat in our house. Really? I had. No idea. I'm the one. So while I was shopping for groceries, I always look for new items to add to our pantry, um, especially cool things that we could experiment with. And I found two new products I had never seen before. Um, they're made by Nature's Charm, and this is uh, coconut condensed milk. And this is coconut evaporated milk. Yeah. Or evaporated coconut milk, and that's condensed coconut milk. Right. Anyway, so we're going to try um, some recipes to see if these compare to the real dairy. Which is, we have... None of this is sponsored. No. Um, which we are using sweetened condensed milk, which is the Eagle brand, and then Carnation, Carnation. evaporated milk. Um, so we're going to be doing two. We're going to test it by doing two recipes, is what Jazz was going to say. Fudge for our condensed milk, and we're doing a caramel sauce for the evaporated milk. Mmm, delicious. So, well, first thing I'm going to do is I want to compare what they look like out of the can. So I'm gonna, that one has a nice little peel off. If I can open it. It's very convenient and easy. Right off the bat, this looks way more delicious than this one. This looks like yummy. Yes. It does look like a little yumminess. Okay, so what I wanna do is um, pour a little, ooh, look at that. That looks a lot thicker than this. Oh my God, that looks delicious. Um, and I want to put a little bit so Jazz and I can taste test both. Just off, off the spoon, off the bat. Right? You taste that one and I'll taste this one. Sure. And then we'll switch. Mmm. As sweet. Switch. This is delicious. I don't even know what to tell you. That Like, I would just eat that. <laughs> I would just eat that coconut one. Mmm. That is delicious. That. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have another bite of this. Okay. Condensed milk is mm. a very thick, creamy flavor. You got the spoon sticky. And you don't ever just eat it out of the can. I mean, I don't. And that's why. Because it's. That's our dog. back. Of your throat makes it she difficult likes water. to breathe. <clears throat> no, we're gonna continue on. Um, okay. What are we doing? What are we making, Jazz? So, for our condensed milk, we're making fudge. Three minute fudge, to be exact. Fast fudge. Yes. In a microwave. What? We have metal pans. Why? Because we need to prep them. Wait, we're not putting the metal pans in the microwave. No, don't, don't do, that. do that. It's dangerous. You'll burn your house down. Maybe I don't know. I've never done it. Don't do that. No, these are for after the fudge is mixed, they have to rest for some time to get melted. So, Jazz is going to do this fancy thing. We have to prep the pan, so why don't... No, 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 no. There's a special trick to make circle parchment. And I shall show you. Why don't you grease the pans, because for this recipe we have to grease and parchment pans. So, okay, in, in full disclosure, we're not making these vegan, which is a mistake. We should have um, thought it through and made the second recipe vegan. So it's not a good... But we don't have vegan chocolate chips. We didn't buy so. vegan chocolate chips, so we couldn't do it. But this is I'm, more just to see if it... Um, it's Well, I guess it's more just to see if it reacts the same way. Right. Chemically. Yeah. Emotionally. Emotionally. <laughs> I don't know about it. How do you feel? So. No, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Um, so when you're doing this trick, basically, you're going to take your parchment and just fold it up a bunch until, like, you make a little triangle right here. Ta-da! It's beautiful. Now you're going to take... Gonna, what? Move it up so we can see it. Yeah. See? Triangle. Folded a few times. I think I did that, like, six times. Now you're going to take this, align the point with, like, the center-ish, and then you're going to take... Where I put my scissors? It's under the... Thing. My scissors. 
and you're basically just going to cut in the circle of the pan. Ooh. And so you end up wow. with a circle. Like magic. Like magic. That is, I didn't do this correctly because so I think you're supposed to fold it more, but it's more or less the size of your pan. Yes, that's a very clever trick. Yeah. See, I would just take it like this no, and smash it down no. in like that. That's what I would do. Smash it in. Like that. This is a better way of doing this. And the more you then. fold it, the the smaller and more exact your circle would be. I didn't it's do that exact, but just it's to get it done. Fast. But you can see how much nicer this one looks. But mine was done in three seconds. Actually more because I'm so fucking with it. Here, done. Beautiful. Now what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Take your mixing bowls. Ta da! These are glass. These can go in the microwave. These are, but make sure some glass isn't microwave safe. So, make so sure just make sure on the bottom of your cooking bowl that it says whoops, oven and microwave way. safe. Does it say on there? I don't know if you can see it. This recipe calls for one can of sweetened condensed milk, two cups of semi sweet chocolate chips, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, we're going to do this individually because we have to go one bowl at a time into the microwave. So, um, yeah, take your one can of condensed milk. Oh, you're doing that one? I'm doing this one. Sure. Mm, okay. One can of condensed milk. This is the so not. We, we did notice that the, um, the measurements are a little bit different. So this one yes. can has only 11 ounces, I think we noticed. And this one has 14, which is actually what this calls for, but I'm sure it's fine. Famous last words. The color is really beautiful. I don't know if that matters. Maybe, maybe change the color of the the fudge. You're melting chocolate. Well, I don't know, but the deeper color might make it a deep, different. <gasps> <laughs> this does have a coconut flavor. So if you don't like really? coconut, you didn't taste the coconut? If you don't like coconut, if you come around here, you're gonna taste it. Okay, so pause everything in the episode because Jason hates to eat coconut. Go ahead, taste it. Tastes like condensed milk. See? Okay. I tasted coconut, but with I, mean, I think there's a slight coconut flavor, but it's not very. What are we doing now? Drop chips, two cups each. That's one cup. One. That's two cups. Two. Oh boy. Is there still left in there? All right. These are Ghirardelli milk chocolate. It's supposed to be semi-sweet, but we don't like that, so. I like semi-sweet. I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, now what's the next step? We heat these for one minute in the microwave. Do we have to mix them first or just put it in no. the microwave? Okay, I'm gonna go in the microwave first. Yeah. Have fun. I don't know how it I apologize, but due to cringy material, we have to end this channel. <laughs> This is what happened and it might All right, it. you have to let that sit. Do I stir for it? For one minute and then stir it. So I'm gonna microwave this for one minute and you can let that sit. For one whole minute, you have to let it sit. That's a long time. Okay, it's been one minute. Jazz is gonna take out the one that has dairy milk and chocolate in it. And this one's been sitting for a minute and I guess I get a chance to stir it. Yeah, stir it to combine. Ooh. I didn't actually think it was gonna combine to be honest with you. <laughs> I was doubtful because it had to sit and I thought, oh, it's not gonna be melty enough. So. Now I have to wait for one minute. What? Look at this. It looks great. It it does look delicious. Wow. 
That looks so I'm just amazing. stirring it, and now I gotta pull in the vanilla extract. Yeah, you need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just dump this it in. This is your favorite bourbon vanilla extract. Ooh, yes. Just dump so it in. Here's a teaspoon ish. A teaspoon ish. The difference though. This is lumpier. Maybe because I threw some extra chips in there. Mm. Maybe. It says that if you need to, you can um, microwave it for a little bit longer. That one looks a lot better than this, this one. This one looks gorgeous. And so I'm going to pour it into my prepared pan. I almost wish that I could use my pan for that because it looks nicer. <laughs> Too bad. I'm going to put my vanilla in now. Wow. I I think maybe if that you wanted amazing. to. amazing. It says to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. Which we're going to do because we have more cooking to do. <laughs> she just shoved her head <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm going to pour mine in now. Even though they're different quantities, they kind of made the same amount. What is that kind of magic? All right, we're going to put these in the refrigerator. We'll be right back. Ding! Okay. We're wow. Poof. We're doing condensed cob apple <laughs> We already did condensed milk we just put the <laughs> now we're going to do evaporated milk it's milk that's been evaporated i don't really understand actually that doesn't make whole sense thing about evaporated milk i don't get it so you have to shake these this one says shake me up before use and that one just says shake well on the top because this is a serious product and that's fun <laughs> You have to do both sides. What? You have to do both sides. Don't you know how these things work? No. Hmm. Old fashioned. I would have just opened it with a pan. See what happens. 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 Pour it and see what happens. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That <laughs> doesn't come out because there's no air. I mean, it did come out, but very slowly. I don't see a problem with that. Anyway, we're doing we're pouring these out so we can get a comparison of what they look like and what they taste like. Ugh. See how the difference? This one looks like actual milk and that one doesn't. Because this is evaporated milk and that's coconut. Why do you pour more? Okay, now we're gonna taste it. I can't. <laughs> so it it poured the same though. It poured the same. It has same the same consistency. consistency. Just this one looks nicer again. That's all according to your taste. That tastes like evaporated milk. Tastes like evaporated milk. Switch. A little bit more. That tastes like evaporated coconut milk. It's so gross. It tastes like coconut to me. I mean, it tastes like coconut milk that's been evaporated. I didn't like that, and I liked that. That's, okay. That's my review. What do we gotta do? Okay, so for this we're making a caramel sauce, which really is only a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of cold water, and a half a cup of evaporated milk. So we're gonna move all, all of this over to the stove because that's where it goes. Ta-da! Here we are at the stove. Ta-da! Ta so we've poured our quarter cup of water in our pots. We should be using smaller pots for not. Go <laughs> big or go home. Right. So turn your heat on to a medium, medium heat. Medium heat. Medium heat. And add your sugar. Your one cup of sugar. And we are going to stir this until it dissolves. Did you say it was a quarter cup of uh, Quarter water? cup of water and a cup of sugar. Oh, I'm supposed to stir it, I forgot. Yes, you're just going to stir it until it dissolves. We should be using a smaller pot. I feel like a bigger pot is better because you get a good stirrage. <laughs> I'm kind of bored. Already. It's not even been like 30 seconds. So what happens? Tell us the next... Well, once it's 100% dissolved, we let it sit until it's deep golden brown. Oh my god, that's going to take forever. Five to seven minutes. Now you're good. So take this, see the sugar that's on the side? Yeah. Take cold water in this paper brush and brush it down. 
Why? To get all the sugar in. Oh. Yeah. That's why. Don't forget the ones that's over here. It's good, it's good, it's good. Leave it, leave All right, it. now we have to leave it. Forever. Um, five to seven minutes until it's a deep golden brown. We'll see you in five to seven minutes. Kind of satisfying to watch. Is it? Yeah. I guess so. I guess it could be very relaxed, like meditation. Unless you have tryptophobia. Is that the fear of bubbles? No, the one of small holes, like cluster, cl cl like a cluster of holes. Ooh. This would be terrible for you because it's like, if you see it, it's, don't look at it. I mean, don't, if you have that, don't look right now, but look right now if you don't have that. I don't think I'm making any sense. You're not. <laughs> if you are afraid of bubbles, don't look. Now, look at this. I mean, it's a little too late for that. There's a lot of bubbles in there. But don't look if you're scared of... I mean, people who probably have holes. tryptophobia probably looked away by now. Well, we should, should we put a warning? Don't look. Uh, Too late. Uh, we think we might be almost ready to add our milk. We both have our hands behind our back because we're trying not to touch <laughs> because you're not supposed to touch the sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Yours looks ready to go, actually. Mine actually does look ready. I think your... It's funny. Jess turned up the heat and I think that was the secret to doing should it. Should do it now? Yours looks perfect. It looks like a golden, deep, golden, deep golden, golden color. Mine is not there yet. Out. Heat. Whoa. Ah. I thought that was. All right, this is gonna be um, dramatic. Oh, it's starting. Whoa! That was dramatic. That was super dramatic. Yep. You made the dog come. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do mine now because I think mine is already. Turn off the heat. Turn off the heat. Turn off the heat. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You should have added that a little bit slower. Whew. Well, I made a bit of a mess. <laughs> Whoa. That is going to be sticky. Jason <laughs> is laughing because I made a huge mess. If it's not smooth, we can cook it a little bit longer to smooth it out. Yeah, I think it's better. I'm going to add sea salt? a little bit of sea salt. Oh, wow. It's not smooth at all. We can cook it a little bit Wow. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's terrible. <laughs> add a little Ooh. sea salt. Wow. Here, grab it. Wait, do some sea salt on mine. Well, I try to repair that. Whoa. Wow. I don't know what you did. I don't know what I did but either. My goodness, that was terrible. Mine looks great. Yours looks great. Mine is horrible. It's like, it just like exploded and like the sugar is like not melted in there. It's like everywhere. Is that on the floor? Yeah, I know I got it on the thing. Daddy wants me to turn the heat up and cook it some. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to do that. It's like gonna cook on the pan though. It's gonna make a huge mess to clean up. A huge mess. Okay, well we have to taste test it, so we're gonna move over to the other side and work it out. I made such a mess. I made such a mess. Okay, we're back test. over. We made some mess. We're back over to test taste test our things. We have this put, is the coconut caramel sauce. This is the regular. Regular. Who, we're not it's we're lumpy. gonna ignore the mess. Um, it's lumpy. So we have our regular fudge over here and our coconut fudge over here, which you put away and it moved. Okay. Is that perfect? So we're going to slice these and see how they cut. They've been in about mm. an, maybe less than an hour. That, that did not cut as well mm -hmm. as this. No, it didn't. It that really probably needs more time to set. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I think this set really well, though. Yeah, this probably could have used a little bit more time to set. Yeah. So let's taste test the drippiness the first. Taste the drippiness first. Not on the knife, but even on the knife. I was moving the knife. I thought you were going to put that in your mouth. I mean, I thought about it. I know. That's why I was like, don't do that. Okay, here is... This is the coconut, coconut one. Condensed milk. Hmm. Should be good. 
Tastes good. It still for me it tastes like fudge. Tastes That's not coconut. solidified. Oh god. It's good. It tastes like coconut to me though. Either regular fudge. So this is a little bit more. Here, take that off of my. Mm. Oh, this also could have used more time to set. Or not. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be that thing. So what I will say about the coconut, the coconut one. It tastes good. It's good yeah, flavor. I like the flavor of the coconut one better, I think. It, to me, I taste the coconut in it, but I'm a super taster. This one I actually really liked. It reminded me of traditional fudge. I did not like the regular milk one. But I don't like fudge. <laughs> so let's move on to the next. Caramel sauce. Caramel sauce. Mine is very, very liquidy. Mine is is a little bit... And hot still. They're both hot, which is great because I love We're it. We're just pouring them on my Oh my god, it looks so yummy. I love it when it does that. What? It looks delicious. They're both very hot, so it's melting the <gasps> ice cream. Which is the way I like it. Mine smells like butterscotch. You're ready to yeah. eat yours first. So this is the coconut milk. And this Just actually vanilla bean ice cream is vegan. The, co the ice cream's not vegan. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes just the sauce. It tastes like butterscotch. Oh, we should have just, just tasted the sauce. Mmm. Huh? Tastes like butterscotch. Here, I can taste the coconut little, in that. Pour a little bit on our spoons. Nice. Just so we can have a clean. This tastes more coconut to me. Bring it forward. It's like a spoonful of sugar. Go down, pop some medicine. Go down. Please don't copyright us. <laughs> I taste the coconut more in that one. It tastes like coconut to me. Okay, let's taste the other one. I mean, it's good. I got more spoons. One, two. Okay, so here you go. Don't copyright us. Um, <laughs> this one, I think, ooh, it does that thing with the... Oh, yeah, it sort of solidified more yeah, on, the on the ice, ice cream. cream. Um... Um, um, what did you do? I don't know. I don't mind it. It doesn't taste like caramel sauce. <laughs> it has the caramelness of it, but it doesn't taste like caramel sauce. I don't know what you did. It's not ripe, though. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it's like butterscotch. It's closer to butterscotch. It's a butter. It's not caramel. Even though there's no butter in it, but it tastes like butterscotch. So that was the dairy, and yeah, that was the. I okay. I think so I like this one better. I think I like the dairy better. That's two for two. Two for two for me. Mm-hmm. You like, like the, the vegan ones better. The vegan ones, and I like dairy ones. Well, well, the whole purpose of this is not to just um, see what we like better, but how they cooked and how they reacted. And they I would say this one doesn't look like it's solidifying at all. No. Whereas with most caramel sauces, they, they get in. drippy, like yeah. you can't even see it because it's coated. It gets the gooey. Whole. It looks like it's just not solidifying. Even with the fudge, it's not mm. solidifying as much. So maybe it doesn't react the same. The same way. But the taste, obviously. I mean, it's good. Thin. And I, would, I wouldn't I would mind using it if I had a recipe that I had to make vegan. I won't feel shy or trepidatious in using it. I think it will work really well. Yeah. And if you actually know how to make fudge, maybe you could tell us if it works better yes. because we don't actually know how to make fudge. So make sure, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but make sure now you, you should subscribe, subscribe and share this with your friends and like the video. All right, well, let's say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Please, tell your friends. Subscribe. Share. Because I really want to go to college. It's really, really fun. <laughs> <spicy. laughs> now I have a sugar high. <laughs> I have too much sugar in my body now. I feel like I need to nap. Yeah. Good ice cream. Thank you. Oh, good.